All right, we're back, and we did not decide what kind of mission we're gonna do. Look, it's yeah, hard. Yeah. I don't get to hang out with you guys until yeah. these things, and so I'm like, I just want to yeah. hang out. So, Chat. so relatable though. Like me, 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 stream of life. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to 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 sum up where we got to, because mm. I think M missed a bunch of it. Oh. We are currently mm. we, we have one tier of the investigation of the readiness track, track filled. That means that there are two missions we can do without penalty. We could choose to do a like defend the last bastion mission and like just hang tight and deal with whatever spoopy moth nonsense eventually happens because that seems pretty impending relatively or, or speaking, some or random like, thing will climb up out of the portal to heaven and okay. oh, that, 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 that is also a thing that totally can happen it. yeah hey, look there's possibilities in that regard uh or we could go into the last bastion and like we then started to be stalled a little because no one could think of any like really super pressing like we should do this thing it's clear mm -hmm. okay yeah um i so feel like the last bastion's only taken one so there's not a lot of strife happening that you would need to deal with mm. yeah like i feel like that mission is probably better left until like on. one we have built like we've just world built more of it mm -hmm. and we have more npcs yeah. and there's more going on and oh, also I there's more bullshit or someone makes an evocative statement about a thing that they want to do that is like like you just make up a problem yeah, that's true you that's true up a that's true this is a blade's hat that's true problem. well i have a question though um slash suggestion which mm -hmm. is um if we feel like uh doing things within the town doesn't quite narratively line up yet um and last session we went into heaven i am curious to go outside mm -hmm. of the walls the and there's been, ones. you know, there's been those two little sort of hints of like weird, weirdness, ghosty, spirity shit yeah. outside the walls. Um, totally. That's what, that's what I'm interested in. I have, have an cool. idea. I have an idea for a mission. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is that, um, and this wouldn't be Kristen Romer's idea. This would probably come from either Cert or mm -hmm. uh, Swift, but that we need to go on a little pilgrimage out into the wilds, into the Deadlands somewhere. And like appease some shrine mm -hmm. and come back. So we need to do cool. this little like journey. Yeah. And that's how we're gonna defend the last bastion. Mm -hmm. We're gonna like placate the spirits. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um yeah, I'm happy for that to be a suggestion uh, that Sir makes. Um and I think he if he were gonna do it, he would um you know, he would be very sort of like, Oh yes, you know, I have discovered that there is some some spiritual unrest in this particular some space. We just need to go and we need to do this task and it will be very simple and straightforward. And I think secretly there's some like underlying uh, like ulterior motive stuff going on because like because he feels like there might be some some uh, spirits or ghosts of his people and he just wants to know about it. So, um, but I think he, he's presenting it. He would present it to the group very much as like, oh, we just have to go and, you know, yeah, do a ritual, settle a deal. You know, it's all very straightforward. Shouldn't be too difficult. Spook is the technical term, <laughs> is Swift's perspective. Yeah, spiritual unrest, it's just called spook. Did, yeah, um, spook. If I recall correctly, in the first time when I was doing the patrolling around the outskirts, did I see like the weird bird. bird with the black eye, red eyes, sorry? I don't remember if you saw it. Or, or did I not you, see it? I think you explicitly no. failed to it notice it. Yeah, you didn't, okay, cool. yeah, you didn't yeah. uh mm -hmm. I, I the rolled real badly. Yep, yeah, that's cool. No worries. Yeah, the audience got to see it and it was a foreshadowing thing. That was a oh. bad omen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, it so, sounds like Yeah, is this a, might be is this go on a pilgrimage. Exploring the bastion though? Or are we like we're doing like hmm. non- we're not defending I, it as such. Well, I, f I feel like we are. I feel like like we are pro we're like we're proactively defending the bastion. Because we can't be um, hunting a Leviathan. We we can't be hunting a Leviathan because Leviathans come from the hole in the ground. Do they all come from the hole in the ground? I mean we're some yeah. of them possessed by ghosts and demons out in the deadlands. Yeah. I mean pos yes. I mean possibly but yes. from like from memory, the the division we proposed was like Demons slash leviathans come from heaven, and ghosts and spirits are outside and spooky. But we did. like, I mean, obviously, there's wiggle room there. Mm. If, if, hey, 
maybe maybe they have found another way in. Like maybe another yeah. oh, my portal has opened. And but maybe the, the, like engines both, that were like, used in the Great War. Exactly. Yeah, I mean maybe, maybe maybe honestly, yeah, maybe we're recovering a fallen engine, to be honest. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it could cool. be recovering a fallen engine. Yeah. It's just that we don't like, really we know. Like we may not we may not like. know that. Yeah. Like I don't think the characters know that, but I think like mm. at a like Cool. directorial level that is what mm. this episode is about mm. the That's story of how like we that. go out into the streets and come back with an engine which by means, accident yeah that does sound like sorry ash uh right. like recovering a falling engine unless andrew thinks that um exploring outside of the walls of the bastion right just exploring outside of the walls of the bastion should be a mission type i mean we can we can make that decision right we can yeah. say like do we come away from this with an engine and is it like a harder mission where we have to go and do that um that's, and that that's the question i'm asking you don't to, yeah right. like, armor it, up to do. i, I think if you are exploring start. then mm. it's level one if you are if the end result of this story is that you might come back with an engine i don't level two. i don't know that it yeah i think it's still level one i feel oh, like cool. it might yeah. set up for future mm for a future thing, but I don't feel like, yeah, there's necessarily an, a narrative um, set up no. for coming back oh, with them. We've just invented a new mission type. It's called, like, <laughs> Explore the Ruined World That Was, or something are we, like that. Are we actually able to have any more uh, engines at this point, like, without getting the ha expanded hangar? Yep, we got we uh, one, one, more. One, more. one more. Okay, right, okay, cool. Sweet. Um, right. let's do some exploring. As an added hook for this mission, I do have a friend who is Och, the witch hag of the Deadlands. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. And can we bring her along, Ash? Yeah. yeah or, can she, or does she send us on this pilgrimage? Okay. I think, yeah. yeah, I wonder. Is um, I have a question then. So is, what's that role? Um, can you just like, where is she in the Bastion? Is she with you, or does she? She looks like a grate that leads by... out of the wall. And she lives in the sewer grate vent thing. Yeah, that's what you said, right? Yeah, she's one of Sert's people. Mm. Um, and I think, yeah, that, that's part of why I have this uh, promise about preserving Sert's stories the way they are, uh, is like Och and her ideas about like the world and about her own people. Um, and so. Yeah, she lives in the, like, I'm imagining there's some kind of, like, refugee district or whatever, right? There's, like, the shitty neighborhood where all these people get put, and that she is there. She is a person of some significance within that community who is very much a pariah within the city at large. And, yeah, she acts as an intermediary between the Deadlands and the city cool. and mm. sends out, like, messengers that are, like, little, like, spiders or other critters that can go out through this, like rats sewer you know offshoot like slash river that runs out the back end of the city yeah that's cool um so do i know i would know of this person do i know that they are friends with Kristen rama like i guess what i'm getting at is like would i suggest oh let's go and speak to that person you know to get advice I think or you have like, heard from, like, we didn't tell you that we're friends. Mm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but, but maybe yeah. they did. Yeah, someone, okay. there's like a rumor, because we'll, we'll mm -hmm. sneak into that part of town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. And this is one of the ways that we are uh, in Subordinate Rebels, is that we go mm -hmm. and want to hear the stories of these other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so maybe... Don't hear my stories. Oh. Outrageous. I, I listened to your story. <laughs> so I, I think maybe we've, e yeah, I like the idea of we've either, um, sorry, and what is the name of this person? It's O C H. Okay, and oh. pronouns for this person? It's she's a she's a lady. Okay, cool. Um, so I an old like, an a swamp old, like lady. A crone. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I like I the idea that we don't kill her the, M, or get Ash to kill her. <laughs> really? Bring that up here. Why would you say Jeez. that, Luke? I don't know. Leave it alone. So, uh, Ash and M played some Minecraft earlier this week, 
And Emily decided that a witch who lived in a swamp, a very nice witch, might have some good things very, in her house. A very nice witch. And so That's Emily convinced Ash work. to murder this witch. I did not. I did not. This is an exaggeration. And then, uh, and then afterwards became very distraught because the heart had gone out of the swamp. Whatever. You don't understand how Minecraft works, Luke. <laughs> Look, they were just clearing that house so that I could go live in it later. Because yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, I want to live in a swamp house. Exactly. Exactly. That, there were yeah, yeah, yeah. flower forests, Andrew. You'll be into mm. it. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, anyway, you went and spoke to Ark. <laughs> yes. Um, I think either we either went and like spoke to her or we've brought her with us. It'd be kind of fun to have brought her with us. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe, again, it's like, um, uh, A, she's like, she, you know, she would be a very good person to have out there. Um, B, like, I'm interested in talking to her. And C, I've heard this rumor that, um, yeah, that Tristan Realmer are, are friends with her. And I kind of want to, like, watch how they interact. Um, because it's not something that Tristan and Rama have talked about themselves. Like, they haven't said, oh, my friend. So I'm kind of, like curious to see that as well yeah cool all right yeah um what like what does she look like is she just old and crony swampy swampy i don't know you, you you tell us andrew uh well so she is like closely tied to the natural world which is like not allowed oh. um and yeah, like dresses in a traditional way and uh, to like your people, mm -hmm. um, despite that maybe not being super kosher, like they tried to put you in a cravat, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah, she's very much this like, so what what is what does that traditional way of dressing look like, I guess would be my question. Yeah. To put um, it back to you. Okay, I am imagining and um now i'm trying to remember whether i whether we came up with like a real world equivalent oh we said kind of egyptian actually for for like my own heritage but that doesn't necessarily mean in terms of like the pantheon and stuff like that to start yeah, yeah. um and i i think i kind of like picture sort of looking a bit like a bit that way too um but um i don't know i think actually uh the the sort of the kind of thing that she might wear that would be like traditional um particularly for like uh, a, a woman who is an elder or something like that is like um a kind of uh long sleeved like loose fitting sort of tunic um which would have like maybe um either like embroidery or like beading or something um kind of around the neckline of it um and yeah it's like one of these sort of ones that just kind of like uh like drops kind of straight down and it would be made of like I don't know, um, something practical. I was wondering, like, do you have, like, some, awesome. like, cultural thing about, like, the way that clothes are supposed to be made? Like, you're not supposed to have, like, like buttons or fasteners or, like, mm. or mm. something like that? Mm -hmm. Or, like, you, or, like, you're not supposed to expose a certain part of your body or... Yeah, right. Um, I think maybe, yeah, I think that could well be something about, like, you're not supposed to, um, I think you're not supposed to expose your arms. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, unless you're like a certain kind of person, like I think maybe I feel like, uh, like laborers gesture. only, uh, okay. or something like that. I was that. gonna say like I, uh, like that su that suggests violence to me. Like uncovering your arms suggests yeah, violence. Yeah, okay, or like warriors, or yeah. like if you're fighting. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's I like, like it's, that. it's a way of saying like you're going to war. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah right. So like like like, sort of like wearing clothing that yeah, mm. rolling up your sleeves or wearing clothing that leaves them bare is the equivalent of like unsheathing a knife. Like it's a signal yeah. of. Of in ending yeah. conflict mm -hmm. yeah exactly and that maybe uh, like that. also she like keeps her head totally shaved like, mm. Mm. i like that Bald yeah that's cool she yeah, kind of her that head her clothes... eyebrows and like so from here like up right is all like mm. painted in like designs which are like Plant different dyes. each morning oh yeah totally like mm, each day she like cool. repaints her head with all of these elaborate like yeah um all of these elaborate designs yeah. Yeah. yeah that's and I'm, really... I'm picturing that like this this like long single piece of clothing is made from like woven flax or something mm, yeah it's something quite rough i think like it's made yeah. of a plant right it's yeah. made from nature Ugh. yeah and that's probably not like necessarily traditional traditional like they don't all yeah. have to be made of that stuff but i think that, that is uh indicative of her this right? choice she has made. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah this cool. is the mm. life that has chosen her 
So that's what she's like. Yeah, swamp life. Cool. Um, and probably she's not allowed outside of the city, but she just is there on the path as we're leaving. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. So are we going out in this um, exploration like unarmored? I guess, like on foot. Yeah, not taking engines. I assume we probably take engines. I mean, I feel like. Um, it's pretty dangerous. Conveniently out there, allows right? us to take engines it it is, us. but also like considering what we're out there to do, taking like weapons of mass destruction that were wielded against the culture of the ghosts we are trying to appease, is probably not the best look. Hmm. Like it's where where do we want the challenge to lie? Do we want the challenge to be getting there? Or do we want the, the challenge to be calming the ghosts down? We we can't we can't go that. Like, we can't go out there undefended. Say, mm. like, that's Adna's Undefended, against, undefended oh. against what? It's perfectly maybe. safe. You just need to know how to approach these things. So maybe some, ah, of, us, okay. some of us have brought an engine with us, and some of and us, some of us haven't. Yeah, mm. nice. Yeah, yeah um, I think there's probably, like, and maybe we don't necessarily need to see this on screen, but I think, like, that would definitely... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, that would definitely, like, prompt uh, a discussion like between um swift uh, and cert about like no 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 it is like it is dangerous out there now like it may not have been dangerous in the same yeah, way it's, in the it's, past, it's but... dangerous because you don't know how to talk to them <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, how, you, it's da you... dangerous because ev everything out there hates us Yes, yeah. it, it hates you because you have done wrong and you have failed, well, and you have stopped we, performing we've done what we needed, We've done what we needed to do. I yeah, I, conversation over at that point. Like, so, <laughs> I'm not here for any of this imperialist justification of Regardless. your culture's mistakes. The game's mechanics tell us that only, literally, only one of us can actually talk to them. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it is actually. But I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't know that that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. It's just, it is funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you would say that. Yeah, they are yeah, objectively yeah, exactly. dangerous, but I'm like, no, they're just people. No, it's no, exactly. Fine. You just chat to them. <laughs> Come on, I'll introduce you to my ghost friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so well, I'm like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I talked about this last time, right? Like, someone asked me, like, Hey, why are you dangerous? And I'm like, because I'm just like, the ghosts are chill. It's all fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's let's figure out if we're taking who's taking suits. If yeah. no one is, if everyone is, yeah. and get get doing it. And then an engagement roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Yeah, I'm I'm bringing a thing. Same. And I think like I'm conflicted about it because like uh, there is there is something to be said for like if we're going to appease a ghost, do you take a weapon? But at the same time, I'm a captain of a defensive force. <laughs> I can't like not bring a weapon and put all of like my people. Yeah. Danger it, does, that. it doesn't it's... have to be like turned on because the exactly kind of fiction yeah. around them is that you can have yeah. it with you. It's just an object. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I am going to bring the other engine. I'm bringing the one that's a coffin. <laughs> oh right, yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a good point. I'm not bringing the one I brought last time. I think because that is like literally a giant sword. Mm. I feel like that's inappropriate. Um. How are you bringing this coffin? Like well, physically, what does this look like? It floats. Nice, yeah. nice. Remember, it's like a floating. It, oh, you're ri float, you're riding on normally, it like a wagon. No, no, they're just they're they're moving along with it like a morning procession. Okay, so it's like Tense's floating disc. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, it, okay. it just like floats along, and they're like solemnly walking one in front of it and one behind. <laughs> And you know, like I feel like it's fitting. Theatrically weeping, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And Rama are such wankers sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I love them both, and they are perfect. But yeah, they are make they are like they they like spend some time doing the whole like yeah. wailing thing. You know, like yeah. they're, they're doing all. I of mean, that. it makes sense, kind of, for the mission. Maybe we'll see. Because they're re they're repentant. They're yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, M, what sort bringing? Yeah, that's what I'm just trying to. So I'm trying to remember which one is which. So gift of Yolnir is the boots. Is the boots? Uh, uh, the gift of Cassiel or whatever it's called is the banner. Mm -hmm. uh, Cunning harmony is the bow, and Ophiel's right. thing is the sword. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not bringing the sword. Mm -hmm. um, Mel, what are you bringing? I think. Yeah. What's exactly? I don't know. 
Adna, what do you? What's what the question? What does Adna want to bring? Um, I mean, like Adna kind of defaults towards um, uh, Cassio, which is the banner, but mm -hmm. like is like doesn't if you know if is going to take the lead from from Sir and like if Sir Sir's mm. in charge, if Sir has one that Sir wants to take and has an idea for what other other people should take, that's fine. No, I think I think actually for a bit of a like a weird uh, juxtaposition of tone, I'm going to take mm. the gift of Yolna. Cool. Mm. Cool. Great. So here, 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 a really funny thing happens because um, Swift takes the bow. Mm. Because mm. to Swift, it's not an engine; mm -hmm. it's just her bow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was. Yeah. Like <laughs> the the end of her timeline was what made it an engine back mm -hmm. in the past, mm -hmm. and so she's like, "No, this is just my bow that I have that I use as an yeah. object." It's like a personal it's possession. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's mm. just also an yeah. engine. Like, yeah, yeah, cool. So the irony yeah, so it, is, it doesn't count. you're the only one who ends up bringing a thing that looks like a weapon. Well, so, <laughs> and, like as we've established before, like it, it's normally unstrung and unstrung, and yeah. it just looks like a quarter staff. Like, yeah. yeah, like a staff. Yeah. Uh, Emily. So I which one's the coffin? Uh, the really spooky withering one. of Sergat. Withering of <laughs> yes. Sergat. Okay. Cool. Thank um, you, Andrew. The withering of Sergat. Emily, I just shared with you a handout, which is like my inspiration for Yolnia. If you wanted to see awesome. that. Awesome. Um, Thank you. Cool. You don't really have good. to abide by that. Yeah. That's just what I was inspired by. Oh, cool. No, absolutely. <laughs> cool. Great. So, so at the end of the day, engagement ring. But we're just walking along. Mm. Yeah. Something, something will happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, we specifically cut to the action, not the walking along a road. I mean, we sure. have we got to do engagement roll first. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm saying. Is we yeah. is the engagement yeah. roll. Yeah. So there's like the, the little action. montage of us getting there or whatever. Mm -hmm. but... Yep. Yeah. Who wants to roll it? I mean, we got to do the questions first, don't we? Oh uh, yeah. I'm good at this game. Like how many dice? I will roll it. Um, the where's the questions? What are they? They're on. All right. uh, one die for hope, and modifies that starting pool. Is the mission particularly heroic or noble? No. Mm. Uh -uh. Mm. I think mm. noble, maybe yeah, not heroic. Yeah, not we're, heroic. Like we're paying respects to spirits mm. and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're gonna go and like pay respects to a shrine, yeah. Okay, noble. Yep. So this plus one die. Mm. Does the mission's goal or methods reflect the darkness inside our characters? I feel like yes. <laughs> um, particularly, I, I like feel, feel like for me, because yeah. I definitely mm. have like multiple ulterior motives. Yeah, nice. And it yeah. sounds like maybe Swift has some stuff too. Mm. It's not about Swift's darkness. That's about Swift's like beliefs. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Issues. yeah. <laughs> but regardless, so that's minus one die. Is and, the mission following? Th oh, sorry, Andrew. And specifically, I think for uh, Sirt's like eclipse prompt, this actually kind of fits. Oh. As you're making, mm. like, this kind of non sequitur task as being yeah. like, a point of fixation. Mm. There's like, other shit we could be doing, but you're electing to make this our priority. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, very, yeah, yeah. yeah. To me, it like totally makes that previous answer that we did. Yeah, a, con a concrete, yeah. rational, and entirely impossible task. Yeah. <laughs> Right, like we're just gonna we're just gonna appease all the spirits. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, is the mission following through on details from our investigation? Yeah, I think it yeah. is. Cause, yeah, mm. we know that the ghosts yeah. we know the ghosts are unsettled, right? Like that's yeah. what the the moths meant. Yeah. Yep. Gosh, is that true? The ghosts are always unsettled. Like that yeah. is an established fact that's about true. the world. Um, that's true. Your ghosts there, like, like whether or not how, like, whether or not you think that maybe there are ghosts in that graveyard now that weren't there, but that doesn't seem to be what you're doing. You're not addressing that graveyard. You're okay. addressing ghosts. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Mm. All right. So it's not. Is the darkness well defended here, or particularly strong against this? Oh, although I would say, and this may not change that outcome, just as a like a narrative something, I would say I think the place we're going to is the site of the battle that those mm. bodies were taken from. Yeah, that's cool. So the, okay. the bodies that are now in that in that graveyard, I think they were yeah. taken from the, the place where we're going. That's cool. really cool. I don't think that that makes this a die worthy. Yep, that's yep. fine. I just, it okay. occurred to me as we were discussing. So is the darkness well defended here or particularly strong against this? 
Um, mm. what? Uh, I don't like not think overly so. so. No, I don't think so. Because I mean, I, I, like, I feel like we're not going into a fight deliberately. I don't anyway. think you're. Like... Yeah, no, I think that's fine. Yep. Okay. Yep. Does this mission center around one of our friends? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm bringing my witchy friend. Yeah, you're bringing your witchy friend. Yep. So, so that's yeah. plus one die. Yep. Uh, are our rivals or enemies working against us? Mine aren't. No, I don't no, think so. No, no not that we know of. No one, no yeah. one's rivals are working against you here, so that's fine. Yeah. Cool. Our cast, our, our cast of rivals is very much like within the city. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, are there any other elements we want to consider due to circumstances or events? I think we're all good. I think we're all good. All right. Okay, we actually Too bad. get a good engagement. Well, no, that's days. pretty decent. Um, mm. and... One to start. Yeah. Yeah. One from it being noble, and one from the witchy friend. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. And, min and then minus, and then minus one because the mission's goal reflects the darkness. Um, yes. I forgot to subtract one, so two dice. Two dice. Two dice. Um, who wants to make it? Andrew seemed so excited. Okay, mm. here I go. Mm. Doop, doop, doop. So two dice. We get a four. Cool. Awesome. So that's like, that's not bad. It's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not, in not a terrible. When things start. <laughs> but there is some, you know, significant problem that we hit yeah. at some point. Yeah. And I like that this gives us, like, we have tons of room of, like, where along the thing does this happen? Yeah. This could yeah. be Swift, like. Swift sees a ghost and runs off to hang out with it. It's a whole <laughs> thing. This could be like, yeah. we did Classic. everything we set out to do and are coming back to the gates of the city. And then and a bad thing happens. A bad yeah. thing happens. Like, like, where you want to set this, Ash, is totally up to you. Mm. What kind of twist? Yeah. You want to add, I right? feel like so we're... good. Good. Good time for a break. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Should we take an early break? Well, I mean, it would early? make it would make us it would give us. This then resets the last us hour. to an hour yeah. mark. Let's yeah. take an early break. Um, we'll make it real short, and then we'll come back, and I'll I'm gonna fuck you up. Uh, <laughs> all right. That's all what we're here for. Thank you. Bring it. it. Right. Sounds good. Cheers.